Kid Craddock in the morning. What's better than an evening wedding? Oh, man, so romantic outside. Yeah. Beautiful weather, beautiful trees, torrential downpours and flooding. <laughs> Evacuations. <laughs> Evacuations. Poor Lindsay, even this song wouldn't have saved her wedding. I knew it first, oh. before I could oh. see yeah. that you were the one he chose for me. All right, so um, Kelly went with me. And you want to talk about the drive there? Well, kid, you know, hobbles out. He didn't need to get out of the car, but he wanted to. So he hobbles out of the car on his one crutch. He decided one <laughs> crutch would be better than two for some odd reason. It seemed classier. And I'm like, oh, kid. I'm in a it, suit, you know. At this point, it was just really, really cloudy. I'm like, let me run back in and get my umbrella real quick. He's like, no, come on. Well, All I've right. been waiting for you for 20 minutes. You had not. You are a liar. So we get to this place, and it's, it's, um, it's at a ranch. Mm-hmm. And so you have to pull around. And Kip wanted to let me out there at the front. I said, no, I'll walk with you. I feel bad. Mm-hmm. So we go and we have to park in this little uh, field, field area. Yeah. Well, it's a mud hole. It's a mud hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So now I'm instantly regretting that Kid didn't let me out. You got your like high he heels on. And stuff. My high heels on. And it's starting to rain. Uh-huh. So I said, Kid. I'm sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run. Every man for himself. <laughs> Good luck. So kid's got his one crutch. So he's putting all his weight down on one crutch, oh. sinking in his little soft boot. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> you were in a boot. And Which I've been instructed, if I get this wet, I'm going to get a horrible infection. And so I, you know, I just have to be really careful. So, it so took I'm me running in my brand new shoes I'd never worn before. About 200 yards away from where we're meeting, and, and it took me about 15 minutes to go 200 yards. Well, let's be honest. My hair was looking exceptionally cute when I left the house. <laughs> it really was. I was having a really good hair day. Mm-hmm. But you get out in that misting rain, and yeah. it's like, pff, forget it. Yeah. So we're all standing around, wait, and I'm waiting for Kid, and he finally arrives. Drizzling at this point? It's, or? it's drizzling, a good drizzle. It's a good, strong drizzle, not okay. a mist. After about, after about 10 minutes, I've, I only had 50 feet left. <laughs> and, and I look at Kelly, and she is laughing <laughs> so hard that tears are coming out of her eyes. I can't help it. It's just because a comical situation. The, the rain is pouring down. I'm getting soaked. I'm in an Armani yeah. suit. I'm getting soaking wet. And I look at Kelly, and she just thinks this is the funniest <laughs> thing that she has ever seen. Because there's nothing you that can do. That makes you feel great. Yeah, there's exactly. nothing you can, you can do but laugh, okay? Yeah. Or so, help. So we wait. So they, the people from the hotel nearby, they let the uh, – because the wedding's not at this place. You're supposed to go down this long path. And walk to across the, the creek. Across the creek. Yeah. So we get down there, and she and they have the runner out, and the fathers, the father, the brides run around saying, "We're going to do it. It's clearing up enough. We're going to do it." Then it starts. The bottom drops we, out. We find two seats. Oh. And I step oh. away. I step away to make a phone call. It was just a covered pavilion area. Is all it was. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of anxious to find a place to get my foot up higher than it was because I couldn't do that in the wedding chair. Right. It starts. Just pouring rain. And there's everybody Kelly. starts running over to where I am. Mm-hmm. I felt lucky that I was already there. Already already there. Had, <laughs> even though I was already soaking wet, it didn't matter. Crutch. So they start clearing a path for the, the wedding to take place, and this just covered shed is what mm-hmm. it was. Oh. They bring up oh. the orchestra, the little four piece, you know, string quartet, whatever. Yeah. The DJ brings his mic equipment. It was just, you got to let me take over because I had a front row seat for what happened next. Okay, and so then we, we all look over our shoulder, and here comes the bride. Here comes the horse-drawn carriage Aww. that Lindsay was going to arrive to the chapel. Ceremony, yeah. 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 It was outdoors, so it was, yeah. But she's pouring down rain. It's a yes. single horse. So she's hanging there with an umbrella over her head. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. it was so cool. So in the front, you have the driver and then the flower boy and the flower girl. Well, the ring bearer and the flower girl. Oh, okay, whatever. You don't, don't call them flower boys. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Um, they are the kids of Seamus's best man, and they are like five and six, uh-huh. cute as they can be. Okay. So the driver yep. of the stagecoach hops out on his side, and he's going to run around behind it to the other, because you don't go in front of the horses, obviously, right. to the other side and get the kids out. So he throws the reins over the horse, okay. and as he's walking around to the back, the horse goes up on his hind leg. Somebody yeah. goes, oh. Oh Somebody did that. That's what the guy told me. Lightning, yeah. thunder, yeah. horse goes up. Kids fall out of the stagecoach. The boy starts to run forward where the horse is. Oh, my gosh. And the horse is bucking and, I mean, going crazy. And a guy next to me almost knocks me over, which was fine, to get to the kid yeah. and pulls the kid the out from... The little girl is the one that almost got trampled. Pulls the little oh girl out from under the horse. Oh, my. Holy moly. She didn't get hurt, but yeah. it was close. So at this point, driver abandons his uh, quest to get them out. And runs around to the other side to get back in. Try and calm, and the, con- horse and calm the horses down. Yeah. 
And he does, and he's and he gets the horse nice and calm, and he goes back around again to let the bride and groom out. And when he does, the horse just takes off. Oh, oh. God. And so he's chasing the stagecoach. Oh, my God. So we're standing there, and we're thinking that's where their wedding site is going to have to be. Really? And then somebody, yeah, in this covered area, and they somebody came forward and said, you know what? We're going to go ahead to the reception hall because it's a prettier place. We wanted to have a pretty wedding. Mm-hmm. So we get inside, and it is actually very sweet. So we're watching the wedding, and there's songs being sung and stuff. And I'm, I'm trying to focus on the wedding, and, and Kelly is like, Al says he's on International Drive. Should he turn left or right? <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, I didn't know Al's coming. <laughs> Al, Al can't find Custer Road. Should he, what should he do? They told me you was a toad. It was like that. And I'm like, oh, and everybody in this way, every, majority you know what, Kelly? This up. wedding is going to happen whether your buddy Al shows up or not. So, I think kid is secretly jealous of me and oh, Al. Oh, not secretly. <laughs> Everybody Can we just enjoy the wedding without you being like, Al's going to be here any minute. <laughs> Go talk to the preacher. See if he'll He's delay the wedding bad. for Al to be here. See, I'm like, shut up. I had no idea knowing where we were. So, I mean, I, he didn't know there was a shuttle that had to take you from the beginning of the wedding. He missed We're the texting. place altogether. What do you think Al's going to know how to get here? We're you think texting. he's going to know how to get that kid? Take your crutch and go down there and pick up Al. <laughs> <laughs> Give Al a piggyback ride back here, kid. I'll be out here laughing at you. <laughs> okay, That's but... what I do. Aww. When there's nothing I can do, I laugh. I'm sorry. The two songs end, and the preacher says, It is time now to join this couple into holy matrimony. Mm-hmm. And I walk up and I... And then, right me. then, we hear this. I swear to God. Even before that, even before that. It was a slam. I was like... <laughs> yeah. I was, was like outside the door. It was deadly silent. <laughs> it was oh deadly silent. The middle of the wedding. Because <laughs> I, when, I, when I walked up, I saw the bride and groom up there, and I'm like... No, 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 I don't want to go in right now. The photographer's standing right in front of me. We are gathered here today (laughs) to join this couple into holy matrimony. (laughs) (laughs) And as soon as it opened, we couldn't even see who it was. I'm like, that's Al. I know that's Al. And I'm the only black dude in the whole building. And I'm just walking in with my hat on. I'm just talking, hey, how y'all doing? It was kind of embarrassing. It was embarrassing. And Kelly goes, I think Al's here. (laughs) Al's here. I'm so excited. He found it. Al found the wedding. So the wedding happens, and um, and I've I've taken my little uh, Mm painkiller. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit better. You're in a happy place now. And Al says, "I'm going to go get uh, a beer." For everybody, and I'll be back in uh, an hour and a half. <laughs> because. He didn't say an hour and a half, but that's what it was. Because yeah. they weren't expecting the wedding. Everything was delayed. The wedding was delayed by an hour. They were having to shuffle, you know, okay, the wedding's going to be here. No, now it's going to be here. Um, the bar's going to be set up here. No, now it's going to be here. Yeah. So mm-hmm. there was two bartenders and like 200 people yeah. that really were in need yeah. of a drink. Yeah. And it truly was a beautiful wedding. It really, it really was. was. It was. I was sweet. amazed at how they were able to pull it, it was, together. The like wedding that. ceremony was very sweet. So yeah. we're like all desperate. So Kid and I are sitting back there waiting for Al to come back. It took forever. It did. And, and I so, got to skip people in line. I mean, somebody just kind of brought me right. over. Because they knew Still Al and he's Al. partying. So and anyway, I'm starting to head off into um, uh, pain, La La Painkiller La La Land. He's feeling good. And um, the guy next to me must think I'm the biggest doofus ever. Because he's like, does Kenzie really talk like that? Oh. And I'm like, I do. Uh. So the preacher says to all of us, no, this is where we were supposed to have the reception. But now this is where we have the ceremony. So would you all please, you know, now we have to do wedding pictures. Yeah. So everybody kind of. Mm-hmm. hug the walls, give the wedding party uh, room. And so Al's over there getting the drink, we're sitting there waiting, and then suddenly he comes back and announces. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we had another change in plans. Sorry about that. But uh, it appears that the creek that we crossed over is flooding over the road. Oh. This is our and exit. Unless we leave immediately in fire drill status, oh my God. Uh, we are not going to be able to get past that creek, Save and yourself. we're all going to be stuck here overnight. So let's quickly, anybody that has a car vehicle, please get that vehicle as quickly as possible and get it down to the opera house so that we can start shuttling people back. Evacuate. Women and children first. Evacuate. Women and children first. Evacuate. Evacuate. But you know what? Seriously. So, but Kid and I are sitting there thinking... We ain't got our drink yet. Yeah, I'm That's favorite. what everybody in line thought. So anyway, finally Al comes back, and we all, Al's got red wine, and we get in the back of this very lovely man who has offered to give us, you know, use his SUV, and Al's sitting there trying to balance red wine in the back and of the car. And I got on a, like a gray, a light He's gray got gray his suit. khaki suit. Yeah. 
it winds, it winds going everywhere. I just know, yeah. And we, we get to the part where the creek is rising over the bridge. And, I, I and we hit, literally have to go through floodwaters. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. guns it just to get us through. They're, they're loading us up so quickly in this thing that I bang my leg on the door as I'm getting in <laughs> again. again. Bang my foot on it. I'm like, oh, God. I'm, so, and I'm like, yeah. this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But didn't we have to go through? We, we, they, we would have been flooded out. Nobody yeah. would have been able to leave because right. the only road, the only road <laughs> yeah. out was yeah. getting flooded. And so then we went back to Seriously, the... Seriously, when he's about to pull over that creek where the road is... He stops the, for a the second. The bridge, I'm like, no way. Yeah, gun it. You just... It was already I mean, flooded? This yes. water's getting there. Yes. It was three, it was it was three feet high. Yeah. So how are they going to move the reception? Like the tables and the bar? They... I don't know. No, there's a whole other place there's there was whole, this set up that wasn't supposed to be active yeah. that night. They just brought everything. They just put everything in cars, and yeah. they just moved it back up to the main house, which, like I said, was never intended right. for anything. But it all worked so, out. But so it, it all worked out. It all worked out. You two are sitting next to some listeners on a picnic bench in this receiving area, and uh, they're talking to you and stuff, and I'm like, okay, I need to go somewhere and cry again. <laughs> My foot hurts really bad. So I just kind of I kind of leaned against the wall of the kitchen and all this activity is going on because now they're going to have to cook there and move you everything bring in there. bring the wine over mm-hmm. and the beer. And, and I'm feeling sick again and, and I'm in pain. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to make it to the end of this thing. So I go back to Kelly and Al uh, and I said, <laughs> I said, Al, would you mind taking Kelly home? Oh, I'll drive her home all right. But, you know, I'm just going to be in my apartment. They're going to be on. You know, yeah. he's, he's having fun. Uh-huh. I was having a blast. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, guys, I'll see you later. I just take away and walk away on my one crutch. Oh. Now, now when Kelly left me the first time when we got there, there were big puddles everywhere, and now the whole parking lot is a lake. And I am under strict orders: don't get your foot wet. I'm like, how the heck am I going to do this? How's that possible? And so there's a road alongside the parking lot, and the parking lot has a small fence about a foot high, foot and a half high. So you got to jump it, you got to hurdle it, and. I can't go in the entrance of the parking lot because it's completely flooded. So I have to walk on the high road mm-hmm. down to where I'm even with my car. Yeah. And then I'm going to take a direct left, cross over the fence. <laughs> on one, on one traverse crutch and one good leg. With one crutch, traverse the puddle somehow uh-huh. and get to my car and drive away. Yeah. You needed so that I, second crutch. Dude. So I make it to the place in the fence where I'm going to cross and I step over and I, I'm wearing a, one really nice shoe. Um, <laughs> And I set it down um, about maybe a foot from the fence. Uh-huh. And it How goes, you going to do this? A it, one good leg, jump over a fence, and, and it, one crutch. And it goes down all the, the water goes all the way up to my shin. And I'm like, okay, I don't know how this is going to work. So I put my foot down in there. I'm like, there's just, I have no choice. There's no one here to help me. There's, no, there's oh. nobody around. I just don't have a choice about this. So I put my bad foot on the top of the fence. Okay. And I that lean over. Work. And I grab both sides of the fence with my hands okay and i'm gonna pull myself up and balance on the fence okay and once i'm on the fence i'll rest for a minute and then i'll and figure I'll out how out. to get off the other side <laughs> so and sad. okay and i'll plan out yeah <laughs> like a good plan. yeah so i don't know what to do with my crutch at this point so i set my i lean my crutch against the fence okay and i put the bad leg on there and when i set it down and put my weight i'm like oh wow that really hurts uh-huh. and i grab the fence at the bottom and i and I, you know, one, two, three, and I pull myself up, and it worked. And now I have both feet on the fence, but I'm still holding the fence like a monkey. <laughs> I've been over. <laughs> and if there was music, it would have gone, because the fence just slowly, <laughs> slowly goes oh, backwards. I saw that when I was walking to my car. I was like, oh, that fence got like that. And I hold on to it all the way to the ground. And down I go into the mud, ears covered in water, <laughs> face covered in water. Oh. Splash. Back in the water. Yay. And I'm trying to grab, I can't see, there's mud in my eyes. I'm trying to grab some, I grab the crutch of all things, and it just goes, you know, it's free. It's nothing, floating down the stream. Nothing worth grabbing there. Uh-huh. All I can think of is keep the foot in the air. Keep the foot in the air. So I have this one foot sticking up. It'd be the only way you know that there was somebody in there was a foot sticking up over the, over the lake. There's a foot in a cast. Yeah. Sitting there. And, and so I'm, I'm trying to get up, and it's mushy lake water kind of crap, mud. It's mud. Uh, it's mud. And, and so I realized the only way I'm going to be able to get up is to turn over onto my stomach. And I've already ruined the back. My, my oh, whole, no. Oh, well, yeah, there. you're right, though. But the only way I can get up is to be able to use my knees. Yeah. So I, I just, screw it. I'm rolling over. And I just, In the mud? Like a pig, I roll over. Oh. And now I'm face down, and I use my hands, and I, 
and I get up and I cross the fence. And now, at least at this point, I'm not worried about getting wet anymore <laughs> or dirty. Meanwhile, me and Kelly inside the reception. Hey, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> We don't know what's going on with you. And I keep looking back, seeing if anybody is coming, or nope. you know, if anybody could help me. And there's nobody there. And I still have a lake to get over to. Yeah, to cross. And so I just hold the crutch over my head, and I hop on one leg. And I, I can hop about four times. I have to stop and rest. And then I hop four more times. And oh I get to the car, and I, I take the coat off, and I put it in the trunk. I had just cleaned out my trunk the day before. I had a bunch of clothes in there. Wow. It was almost worth driving naked. You know, to get all this muddy crap off. But I took the shirt off and I took the uh, the jacket off and got in the car. And I just sat Sad. there for a while. I just sat there. And I'm like, <laughs> Sorry, this, is no. a, this is the worst moment of my life. <laughs> the Kids Kids trip is in three.